Once upon a time, far away in a small village, near a beautiful valley lived two friends, Pablo and Bruno. They were both young and dreamed of a better life for themselves. They would often discuss their dreams about how they would become the most successful man in the village. They were not afraid of hard work, and they searched for opportunities to help realize their goals and achieve their dreams. One day, an opportunity presented itself. The mayor of the village decided to hire two people to bring water from a spring up on the mountain across the valley and back down to the village. They were to be paid based on the amount of water delivered to the village. Bruno and Pablo enthusiastically got to work. Every day, from morning till evening, they carried buckets to and from the spring. They worked hard, carrying water to the village. In the evening, they would return home with their day's wages. Bruno was satisfied with his work and the money he earned. He was sure that with this work, he could achieve his dreams. Bruno thought that to increase his wages, he could use bigger pockets to bring more water each trip. He believed with larger income, he would soon be able to buy a cow and the house that he dreamed about. Now, Pablo was not satisfied. At the end of the day, his back and hands ached, and he was exhausted. He was looking for an easier way to earn more. One day an idea occurred to Pablo. He imagined building a pipeline to deliver the water from the mountain spring to the village. With this pipeline, he could get more water to the village without carrying buckets back and forth from the spring to the village. Soon he got very excited about his idea and began to plan. Pablo, of course, shared this idea with his friend Bruno and asked him to join with him to work on and help build the pipeline. Bruno thought the idea was crazy. All Bruno could think about was what his money could buy today and how to get it quicker. He felt that building a pipeline would slow him down and delay him in achieving his goals. Instead, Bruno got bigger buckets and went more often back and forth fetching water. He was sure that with this method, he could make more money. Pablo decided to build the pipeline on his own. He understood that it would not be easy to build and it would take time to complete the pipeline. Pablo knew that it could take several years to finish, but he set his mind on his goal. Every day he worked and carried water like before, but on weekends and during his spare time, he worked hard to dig in the rocky soil and build his pipeline. In the first month, there was little to show for his work. laughed and teased him. They called him Pablo the Pipeline Man. During this time
time, Bruno's income doubled. He already bought a cow and a bigger house. His lifestyle changed. He now spent time after work in the bar enjoying his hard-earned wages from delivery water. every day. His face looked worn and his body tired. Soon he began to carry less and less water due to the wear and tear on his body.